Over the next week, Britain wraps up months of special events honoring World War I veterans. Queen Elizabeth led this morning's dedication of Memorial Garden near Buckingham Palace. But you can find the biggest and perhaps most emotional tribute at a much older landmark. Mark Phillips is at the Tower of London, which has been transformed by flowers. Good morning. Well, the challenge here was to commemorate the 100th anniversary of the outbreak of the First World War, the war that was supposed to end all wars but didn't. And the result has been a commemoration of death that has taken on a life of its own. For a hundred years, the simple poppy has been the symbol of wartime loss and remembrance in Britain, and it has now become the subject of a remembrance like no other. The idea on this special anniversary was to plant ceramic poppies in what was once the moat of the historic Tower of London. And not just a bunch of poppies, or a bouquet of poppies, but a poppy for each British and Commonwealth soldier who died in the First World War. And the result has astonished and stunned the nation. A river of remembrance, a sea of sacrifice. It has drawn crowds in their hundreds of thousands. It just brings home the, the number of lives that were lost, some might say wasted. These are only the, the British Commonwealth losses. They're not, they're not the German losses. They're not the American losses. These poppies, each one represents a life. 888,246 lives. What began as a memorial has become a phenomenon. Authorities here have even had to warn people to stay away, but the warnings and even the weather haven't kept the crowds down. It's as if the memories of the dead of a war that began a hundred years ago have been brought to life. Second Lieutenant the crowds gather into the evening when the names of the dead are read out. Private B. A. Bass, Royal Fusiliers. And London goes silent as the bugler plays the last post. Armistice Day is next Tuesday here, the British Remembrance Day, the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. And this display was supposed to be uprooted, then the flowers given to the people who had paid for them, proceeds going to charity. But now there are calls for the display to continue for a while, so more people can see it and feel it. Nora? Mark, thank you. Wow, that's incredible to see that. 880,000 poppies. And I see why they want to leave it up so people can get a chance. You, you, you won't see anything like that anywhere else in the world. Worth no. the trip. We can never get enough reminders of how many people sacrifice their life so, true. so that we can be so true. free. Absolutely.